Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sort of like a part two of the original video from the other day regarding the replacement spindle bolts and pinch bolts for the GT Power Series cranks from Porkchop BMX. In the first video, we talked about the original GT Power Series replacement hardware for those cranks. In this video, we're gonna talk about the reissue, reproduction, new cranks, whatever you wanna call them, the 2014 to present day reissues from GT. Now, they're very different from the originals. I'll put a link to the video from another video I made, which goes into great detail about the differences between the old school cranks from the 80s and the ones that are offered from GT nowadays. So check that out, educate yourself, if you don't already know. Okay, so in front of you today are Pork Chop's brand new GT spindle and pinch bolts for these reproduction cranks. What Pork Chop has done here is a fantastic idea that merges the original old school look with the new school sizing, taking a little of the organic dome shape from the original, original SR spindle bolts and mating them to the M14 threads of the newer spindle bolt size. And what, is go what that's gonna do is provide you with a spindle bolt that appears to look like the originals when mounted. So if we take a look at that, it looks pretty cool. So I applaud Porkchop for thinking of this and having them made for the BMX communities. It's a great idea. So let's dive in a little bit here. The original design of these newer GT Power Series cranks. I'm a firm believer that they're based on or licensed by Primo. Um, they closely resemble the Power Bites from Primo or the Harrow uh, Fusion cranks. And we can debate this in the comments section, but uh, I do not believe this is an original GT design. Um, so these cranks started showing up in the late 2013, around there, for GT, and there are two versions of them. The earlier versions, which came out in 2014-ish, um, they are have polished hardware, um, and uh, the second version came out around 2016, and that all came with the black oxide coating on the pinch bolt and the uh, spindle bolts. So, um, in my opinion, uh, for the kind of money you're spending on these cranks, uh, they kind of all should have come with polished hardware, um, sort of like an eyesore. But one thing's for sure, it's a dead giveaway when you see a build with the black oxide coated fasteners uh, that there are the new cranks and not the original. So there's that. Uh, be assured that all of this stuff in front of you works with um, any of the cranks that are reproduction made from the 2014 to present day. So looking at these uh, original spindle bolts um, that come with all of the cranks, they're sort of squared off um, like 90 degree angles. And uh, what uh, Porkchop has done there is kind of merge, I made a hybrid version, which blends a little bit of the dome and the cap from the original SR design from the 80s. And you know, like I said, merges it into the newer um, you know, fastener. So that's really cool. So it's gonna look like the old school. So what you'll get in the kit is gonna be two of the spindle bolts in titanium and four of the pinch bolts, also in titanium. And this is interesting because the head diameter of the cap screw is so much smaller for these new cranks um, than they are for, say, the originals um, from the 80s. Um, so basically you're talking about 10 millimeter versus 12 millimeter for the old school. So getting these in 10 millimeter size is hard enough. The pork chop has you covered here. Nice titanium replacements. Even has the lines for the knurling on them, which is you know awesome. Uh, so the new spindle bolts also use a six millimeter uh, brooch area for the Allen key. So that's uh, that's cool because it kind of retains that original look. Uh, whereas the older, you know, the original. Spin the bolt for these cranks uses an M8 Allen key, much larger, you know, for the hex area. So um, it's it's great because you're going to get that, like I said, that older look, the original look with the newer um, design. So let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros are you get that wonderful '80s look, um, and and it's it's really close. I mean, you can get fooled pretty easily. 
if I move this out of the way, bring this in here. Take a look at that. And compare that to that. Ooh, yeah, it's pr pretty good. They match pretty closely, so. Um, so you get that nice, nice look. Uh, titanium is there, so you get the strength. You have the corrosion resistance, and they're much lighter. They can be polished as well. So for fantastic pricing, considering what you're getting, and the machining is extremely high quality. So the cons. There aren't many of them, but sort of similar problem that Porkchop has with this uh, design that he had with the original, which is... Um, you know, the cap or the head is thinner in appearance because of the chamfer angle, which makes the spindle bolt sit lower in the counterbore of the crank arm. And it barely sits proud and is flush with the edge of the tallest point of the cap where the hex is. So, you know, basically what I'm getting at here is it's pretty much just the head of this dome that sticks up and you can see it's sitting lower in the counterbore. Um, sort of like the similar problem he has with the other, the other one. Um, so if we look at the original bolt in there you can see it's flush uh, so you know again if it's people like me that have OCD more of an aesthetic thing it's not really a functional thing so just keep that in mind um, when you're buying them so the spindle bolt head is also a lot smaller than the counterbore size uh, but it's very similar to the original the original is about 920 thousandths and the pork chop versions are about 915, so it's 5,000 difference. However, the counterbore is about 998, or about one inch if you're splitting hairs. So if I were to make these, I would have made the cap diameter a little bit larger and made the chamfer angle different. Just some things to think about. Of course, this should be considered nitpicking. Um, so the other con, this might be the biggest one, is the spindle bolt design mimics the old school so well that you could be fooled into thinking that they are original cranks from the 80s. And that could lead to some unfortunate situations where some people take advantage of newcomers to the restoration scene. Since the original GT Power Series cranks from the 80s are all stamped with the date code in the arms, and I can show you that. You can see 87 G for the month, and that shows you the date in which that was produced just something to keep in mind um and so you know just double check before you fork over your hard-earned cash again make sure you check out my other video to educate yourself on the differences between the new cranks and the old cranks from the 80s so that about wraps it up today so get them on pork chops website i'll leave a link to them in the description of the video again i think this is a fantastic upgrade awesome look it's going to really make some bling um, for your for your cranks um, so it's a great thing all right so remember like the video if you are new to the channel please subscribe ring that bell for notifications I'm currently up to about 493 subscribers I'd love to get to a thousand may even give away something when we get there I have some new videos on the way and a big surprise video in the works which I can't get into right now but stay tuned for a sneak peek of what that could be. It's going to be awesome. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll meet you in the comments section. Have a great day and enjoy your build.